There's no shortage of basketball this Sunday as we bring you a four-game slate in your ASEAN Basketball League. One of those games will be here inside the Changwa County Stadium as the Formosa Dreamers host for the first time this season San Miguel a la Filipinas, two of the teams that had the hottest starts here to Season 9 of your ABL. They will face off. As you know, the Formosa Dreamers, they started out their campaign with six straight wins. However, in their last five games, they could only manage one win. San Miguel a la Filipinas won their first five games before losing a thriller. It Your starting five! Number nine, Number 40, Tevin Glass! Number 23, Shen Kani. Number 6, Li Shelly. That's how important Will Artino is, especially matching up against the defending champion San Miguel Ala Filipinas on this specific game. So they've had extra time to look at more game film and study what Ala tries to do to beat their, the teams that they play. Position that can, can space the floor and how common that is in today's basketball game, but he's a five that can space the game. Miller gets the offensive board and puts that baby back here inside the Chamo County Stadium. Van Balkman down in the post and uh, you know, Olive just struggling passing out of that. Miller with a beautiful escape. Getting past Balkman. Look at this play. Miller, one on one against Balkman. The hesitation, the crossover, the escape, and the lefty. Local players, too, to come in, bring the energy, and, and make sure that they don't have the mindset to just rely on those two guys. And Chen Chin Yin. And Chen, a lot of times, just has that three point shot. Wow. Tevin Glass finding a way. Yeah, Tevin Glass is frustrated at that as we see this uh, replay of his great drive to the basket. And possession is so key if you want to beat this top team in the league. So they wish they had that one back. Again, the defense of the Dreamers on point here. Tevin Glass, no goal. The tip in from Kenny Chen. And that's what Kenny Chen brings too. He has the in. Ala Filipinas, take a look at this though. Tevin Glass will miss here, but it opens up an opportunity for Kenny Chen. And that's why they have this four-point lead. Lee leading the fast break. Back out to Miller, attacking the middle. Malcolm Miller showing his strength. And great recognition by Miller. Seven shots have come from beyond the arc, and they've made only one. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's, it's easy to settle as we see a great attack the basket by Lee. Pino team, the Formosa Dreamers doing everything well here in the first quarter. Look at Lee Shui Lin, just find the gap. Knew that he had a bigger defender in Brandon Ross. Key as well, as we see guys come off the bench for Formosa. Can they keep that level of energy on the court? Kevin Class missed the first one, but he got the put back. For that one. Now, Tevin Glass and the Formosa Dreamers, they've been working a lot of one on ones here in the first quarter for knocking that one down. Cheng sees the gap, tries to pass it out. Chien now, the drop pass. What a play there! And that was finished by Chen. Ramos the ball where he needs it, and he knows what to do with it after that. Miller against Rosser. Coach Jimmy on the back throwing different defenders at Malcolm Miller. However, and of course Ramos all capable of getting those offensive rebounds as we see a perfect action here. Hey. Ramos, it seemed like he was poked in the eye, so holding on to that, turned the ball over and that turns out to be a 
three-pointer for Wu Sung Wei. Might have been an okay strip, though. I, I, I'm not sure. We'll have to watch the replay. It might have just been the basketball hit his face, but uh, hopefully we'll have the uh, ability to see the replay. Coach Jimmy Alapong for sure doesn't like the call. And uh, right now, tempers flaring. Commotion developing in the middle of the court. Now referees have to be able to take control here. Yeah, we want both teams to stay smart and not get into it any extra right miles per hour and, and just fighting for every loose ball and back and forth, bodies are flying. And it's it's fun basketball as we see Tevin Glass finally find the bottom of the hoop. Uh, but these two teams are, they're going at it. So earlier, but Glass got the better of him on the next possession, getting the two points there. Tevin Lee thought about the three. Glass will shoot over Bachman and will find the bottom of the net. Yeah, that's what I love about Glass. I mean, now it's the Dreamers running. Stop on their tracks. Glass getting to the basket. And Tevin Glass count that basket. A little shake and bake, and the six foot eight man knows how to speak of offense from his 43 point explosion in last game and uh, showing you how to get it done. Only averaged about 15 points per game coming into their previous missing shots here. Miller could not get it, but he was fouled in that transition attack coming from. Yeah, most definitely. They're Doing, they're working so hard grabbing and for the Filipino fans inside this stadium. Yeah, who have mu mainly been pretty quiet here in this first half. They're still upset. Chen working that two-man game. They step down and Chen knocks it down. Yeah, that time Urbistando going underneath to just uh, be able to settle down on defense and, and continue to force contested shots. And then also what we well they can't allow stuff like that. <laughs> Glass. Yeah, you're definitely right, and uh, just uh, nobody seems to really be in a rhythm as we see Tevin Glass with attacking the basket here on authority. Just a great hesitation little the open looks that these Filipino players usually make. They just haven't been making them. After Malcolm Miller, he just muscles his way inside. They've done enough, and they've really fought hard to gain advantage here. Glass, the jumper is good. About a lot of things. Take a look at this though. And that's what's difficult when guarding Tevin Glass. He can attack the paint as he did Erkman on the run. Erkman slips, however, loses possession. Glass in front, gets fouled by Parks. A dangerous fall there. And it looks like it's going to be whistled on a sportsmanlike foul. For it. Yeah, Domingo coming in with some contact from behind, and it didn't at look at a free throw. It's just things, you know. Right now, I would say maybe their expectations, or some people's expectations for the game, was, you know, for them to to come out and not be able to compete. As we see another three-point shot by Glass, but you know, these blood coming from the nose. It might be a cut somewhere else in the face. Um, that was a jumper earlier by Tevin. Got to take care of the basketball if you want to crawl back into these games. And Tevin Glass getting that nifty pass from Miller. The connection of these two. Pinas. And Coach Jimmy Alapak having to dig deeper into his bench with Tevin Glass just... Well, he's got 18 points, 20 points and 8 rebounds. Lording over this basketball game right now with an injury and Tevin Glass who was the least who had the least average in terms of points among the three imports of Formosa he erupted but Malcolm Miller reminding everyone that was a beautiful Euro step and then Miller this time no extra step. Alab takes possession but they throw it away and Jim to the cup bounds that Alab has over Formosa when you turn the ball over and allow layups on the other side uh, that's what's Bartman. lead of Formosa down to 12 but they have possession here Cheng puts up that shot and oh boy everyone on the Formosa this game
Yeah, he's really taken over the paint down there and controlled it. Now just a seven-point game, and it'll be a, a big test to Alab, who struggled, especially in the first half with all those turnovers. If they can make those smart passes and plays, that's how they can get back in this game. Cheng, coach Jimmy Alapag just wanted to give him a breather. He has brought San Miguel Alab. Miller, Miller's gotten a lot of help. So has this guy. Glasses. Glass. Oh, and Seven Glass is just in the mood right now. He's not missing. Saying that, no need to replace me. And Jones defensive board. Bogman couldn't get it. Alvano with the rebound. Taken away by Formosa. They're off and running. Chin to Chin. And the Dreamers get an important insurance bucket. Take a look at this, a scramble for the basketball. You can tell that both teams absolutely want it, but it put the Dreamers in a good position, an easy lead. Tiong Son, not getting it on the first try. Trying to get that offensive rebound. Bodies dropping, glass upset. But Formosa, looking to attack quickly. Chen, the silencer, on the play. The veteran coming up big when they needed it the most just to stop that run. That and that's a big difference as we see the replay here of the big three in the corner by Chen to give him. Halen Tiongson in Bogman. He has the basketball. Ronaldo Bogman gets the lead for Alab Pilipinas. Oh, this is the first lead from Alab since they were up 3-0 to zero back in the first period. Lee Shui Lin. Season opening. Lee knocks it down. He got the space and he made Alab pay. Look at this move. The one-time CBA Finals MVP. The longtime member of the Taiwanese national team. Lee Shui Lin swishes in. The go-ahead basket with 17. Go to. John Falk is off. Alvano gets away. He's the opening. He's the Alvano. Money on the tray. Alab has to be very smart because Formos is going to be looking to get the shot off very early. But Alab still does have fouls to give too. So we'll see if they, they sort of risk that or gamble with that. Um, but Formosa only down two points. Um, I, would ex I would expect to see Miller coming off. Lee. Oh! Lee Schwellen! Money on the three! And they are exploding here in Taiwan as Lee Shui-Lin with back-to-back -back huge buckets and this Alab team is a little bit stunned. No timeouts left, still one second. Dreamers have no fouls to give. Alab has no timeouts left. So this has to be an inbound from the be a full, full court heave here to either Bachman or... And Miller seals it! The Formosa Dreamers! Escape with a one-point win. Lee Shui Lin. Two big threes. Uh, we talked about San Miguel Ala Filipinas having fouls to give. They did not use any of those. Yeah, and, and I think they had talked about it and, and maybe had tried, but Lee Shui Lin just got around the pick and roll. He didn't create much space, but... With a hand in his face, he knocks down yet another huge clutch pressure shot to give the Dreamers a huge victory here in the middle of our ABL season. This is an incredible ending to what was such a great game. And imagine, Kirk, the development of the Formosa Dreamers climbing from a one-win season last year to defeating the defending champs in San Miguel Ala Pilipinas and they also improve to, uh, to their record now 8 and 4 and will climb on the standings delivering San Miguel Ala Pilipinas' own second loss of the season and both of those defeats one point losses. Yeah, it's it's tough uh, for Alab. Alab 上为您采访到李学林。这场比赛跟火焰队曾经一度领先到十五分之多，但是在第四节的决胜阶段，曾经被逆转。梦想家如何从第一节的防守让对方发生了将近十次的失误？
贯彻到最后拿下这一场比赛。上半场其实挺不容易的，团队防守造就我们有很多快攻机会，导致上半场又领先。那下半场可能有一些体力下滑，导致对手也抓到这个机会，也是打我们反击。那其实大家都还做得不错，有执行到教练最后一集。那我其实运气也算不错，投进那最后一球，感谢大家把那个机会给我。我们都觉得是最后一球，但其实是最后两球。请问一下，这最后一球跟最后两球中间有什么心情上面的转折吗？啊、呃，其实赛前到球场就给自己就是要多一些进攻欲望。那今天其实有好多对，就是对手，呃，就是走 under， 那导致我有很多投篮机会。今天也是把握住那些投篮的，非常恭喜，在农历新年前可以拿下主场的这一场比赛胜利，恭喜孟强强，恭喜学林。And that does it for us here inside the Chao County Stadium. For most of dreamers protecting their home court, partner Kirk Law. My name is Josh Sulit. Thank you for joining us today for your ninth season of the ABL. We have more games coming your way. So do watch out for those. For now, we'll say goodbye. We'll see you in the next games of the ABL.